can we talk about marketing degrees and how so many people are spending forty thousand dollars of their future money in hex or whatever loan they're doing to pay their education and at the end of the day they are coming out of it with slogans so shit that it's ruining my week i've started paying attention to business slogans all of a sudden i've just gotten real into it because i drove past a local pub of mine and it says the name of the pub and then just underneath it just says a great place to be and i went someone studied for four years and at the end of it got a job on a marketing team they met up with the people from the pub and went all right we just need a new direction we need something uh quite broad pretty broad and they was like all right broad we'll write that down and then they clearly ignored all the other notes that were given and just ran with broad a great place to be <sighs> look a broad slogans work like i'm loving it mac is sure that's broad you could say that also about everything but a great place to be it's it's not even really a slogan because I'm loving it is I'm loving without the G. Mm. There's like a little bit of, uh, there's something original about the Amakas thing. Yeah. I'm loving it. A great place to be could be used to describe quite literally any business on the planet. Now that made me lose all faith in humanity as far as slogans work. Um, then the next day uh, we're driving into the show on the freeway. I see a poo truck. Now, if you don't know what a poo truck is, neither did I. But it's a truck full of poo. <laughs> These exist. They're trucks that I think it was like a business that collected the waste from porter potties or public yeah. toilets or something like that. And then they obviously transported it to a sewer or wherever it needs to go. But uh, they're a private company that did it. I don't know what it was called. It was probably like fucking, you know, Jim's Poo Trucks or something like that. And best slogan I've ever read. Just right on the back of the poo truck, it just said, your business is our business. <laughs> Bit of a poo joke, but still professional. And it also explained what they did. That's how I knew it was a poo truck, because of the your, because of the slogan. Now, that's a ripper slogan. Whoever did that one, great. But here's why I'm losing my faith in modern marketing degrees. Because that sign on the back of the poo truck was faded that's a 90s slogan that poo truck has been doing the rounds for quite some time it was a weathered poo truck out of all the poo trucks i've seen and whenever i see a new slogan pop up like the new one next to my pub always a dog shit slogan so i would love anyone with a marketing degree right you all clearly need practice all right new businesses are coming out with dog shit just like you know the phone businesses We'll just come out with slogans like make a call or like we have reception. <laughs> it's just like, okay, great. I mean, I expected that. When you go to like a pub or a place you want to relax, like a hotel or something like that, you hope, for, you hope it's a great place to be. Yeah. You know, you don't really need to say that and spend a lot of money on the sign. So guys, we need a slogan for this podcast. Okay. Uh, here are my notes. Keep it broad, uh, keep it basic. Um, but I would love a clever one, you know, because I know that at first, you because you guys again, I see you, I see your work, you marketing students. I know your first thing is going to be like, what's a podcast? Uh, so the slogan should be uh, uh, contains audio. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> what a slogan! <laughs> All right, but let's try and think outside the box. Use this as a bit of extra curriculum, you know, just a, a learning curve. Send it into the email. Uh, we'd love to hear slogans, and we'll pick one yep. next week as the official slogan for the Luke Kidgel Hour. <laughs>